Hi, I'm Gypsy. And I'm Scully. If you like this content, please like, share, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It would be very appreciated. 38. 38. Bam, bam. Something just flew up my dress. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, no more flying up my dress, bugs. Oh, that was a light strike. That's the 110, the 100 grain bullet. Oh, okay. a good one. I'm hitting high C. Well, we've been shooting that gun with the 100 grain bullets. Those are 158. They're going to shoot high. Nice thing about a revolver is it's unloaded and it comes out in your hand. You don't have to pick up anything later. The only bad thing is, is with this wrap on it now, I get dirty hand and sticky hand. I'm still shooting a 38 and I'm gonna tell you, I don't have a problem with recoil. Everybody says, oh, you're gonna have a problem with recoil. My problem isn't with recoil. It's with how heavy certain bullets are. This gun has been awesome for me. You said shoot higher? Victor? Yeah. You said this was gonna shoot higher? Right where you're aiming, more or less. Light strike. Give me that next one. Okay, I don't think this one's gonna go off. Okay. I lied. That should have been the last bullet. Yep. Yeah. Well, now you experienced a light strike. <laughs> Can't help it. That was a light strike, and that is why I'm not 100% sure of this gun. Because you don't know 100% where that bullet didn't strike last. And at home, I don't have a problem with that. But if I was out somewhere and I might needed to make sure of where my shots were and were going, at home, it's just me and Scully. Plus, there's always backups at the house. But, I'm sorry? It's plus, there's always backups at the house. Yes. And plus there's back backups at the house. I have a 12 gauge double barreled that I love, love, love to shoot. We'll show you that one another time. Um, but when you are using a gun for self-protection and you want something that you don't have to worry about, this was not the most expensive gun. This gun was, uh, what, 250? Yeah, about 250. Just about 250. It's a Taurus. And um, 
I'm going to tell you, I don't 100% trust Taurus. Their quality assurance is not that great. When you try to send a gun back to them, I have. It takes months and months and months and months and months. And then you get it back and it's still the same way as it was before. Then you send it back and you get it back and the barrel falls off of it. Or whatever the problem is. So I do not trust Taurus like I probably would like to. When I first started with this, with Bam Bam, he was my best friend and was with my at my side 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He's getting older now and I don't trust him like I used to. And he's my house gun, who I take out and have fun with once in a while. This is a hundred percent reliable and it is a carry gun it is not mine it is my husband's it is a smith and wesson airway um very light light to hold on to light to carry and it's got a good grip on it when i'm holding this gun it feels really good um you know you're going to get a strike every time on that gun if it's not the gun, it's the primers in the gun, and you don't have anything to worry about. I mean, yes, primers you're going to worry about too, but there's nothing you can really do about that. With a gun that the firing pin is light in is a totally different story. But Smith & Wesson has very good um, quality control. There, This gun feels like a $500 gun. It's only... Four hundred and something dollars. <laughs> this is the kind of gun you're going to spend a little bit more money. A 250 weapon or a 450 weapon. You're getting what you pay for. This is a very light gun. This is not very heavy, but it is still heavier than this one. And this one only holds five. Yours holds six. I don't want to point my gun at myself. This one holds six. Um, that's the only good thing about the Taurus that I have is it holds six. So I know I'm going to be okay. And it also helped me when I went to my Ruger. Because when I went to the Ruger, I only hold six plus one in the, in the barrel. So I know when I'm counting, I know how many bullets I have left. You're, I'm always counting with every weapon I fill up. Have great adventures and come see us at Gypsy and Scully for more videos. See you soon.